in building the golf swing, I think it is essential that you start with a small swing first. I call it start with the bottom. The bottom I'm referring to is the bottom of the golf swing. Uh, about 7.30 on a clock face to about 4.30, start with the bottom. Every person I've ever taught from beginner to major tour winner, as a matter of fact, I'm always working on the bottom of the swing first. And that's what we're going to do in this next segment. And so now it's time to start moving the club to and fro, dare I say, swinging the club to and fro. Now we're going to do it in a small swing to begin with. Um, I, I like my clock face as an image. If this is six o'clock, this would be about seven. This would be about eight. This would be about nine. We're going to go from 7.30 to about five o'clock, 4.30. We're going about 7.30 to about 4.30. Now you don't have to be exact there. If you go eight to four, that's okay. I just don't want it to be any more than 84 because I want you to have mini swing success before you have full swing success. Build it from the bottom. I call this starting with the bottom. I call it the bottom because this is where the club touches the ground with most of our shots. Not all of them, but most of them. We need to brush the grass. So here's a great drill. Given that you've got a good grip, given that you've got the idea of aiming a face and you've built a stance. Learn to swing. Now what's the best way to learn to swing that I know? To take a weight on a string, it doesn't really matter what weight it is. This is about, I think this is a pound and a half. It's 1.25 pounds. It doesn't matter what weight it is. And hold it in your lead hand and amount off the ground, perhaps wrap it around your fingers. And I'm going to start to swing this weight to and fro and I'm going to start by swinging towards my target. But you'll see as I swing about 7.30 to 4.30, the shaft of the club and the string, the head of the club and the weight are moving in harmony. Now, what does that mean? It means that both ends of my club are moving in the same direction at the same time. There's no leverage. If I was doing this, I'm out of sync. I'm not really swinging the golf club. So always when you're doing this drill with the weight, start swinging towards the target and then swing away from it. And just learn in a very small swing, what is it like to swing the club? Am I saying the best players in the world do this? I'm not, but they very well probably learned doing something like this. So think of a swing. Let's learn to swing the club to and fro. Now, as you're swinging the club, the reason I've got a broom here is I also want you at the same time to be brushing the ground. Now, I hope you're following along and I hope you're going to do some of these things that I've done. I took that broom and I cut the bristles of it so it has an angle similar to a golf club. Now, if I can, if I can sort of swing and brush at the same time, now I've got the make, I'm just lightly brushing the top of the grass there, very lightly, you can probably see that. I've got the makings of a golf swing now, I'm putting the bottom in first. It's to and fro, it's very smooth, there's nothing sudden about it. I so believe you have to start with small swings and grow them to big swings. I so believe you have to start with slow swings and gradually let them get quick. Now, the next step for me then would be to see if you can do that in clip a tee. No ball yet, we're going to get to a ball, but no ball yet, don't hurry too soon. So can you swing a club to and fro? Can you brush the grass with a correct grip and a correct aim? There goes the face. Can you clip a tee doing just that? It's a narrow stance in this case, but can you make a little 7.30 to 4.30 swing and just clip the tee, which I did. You can see that. Clipping the tee has great benefit. Not clobbering the ground back here, not missing the tee, learning to put the bottom in. The tee is right at the bottom of the swing. Can you clip the tee? Now, thereafter, if you've had some measure of success with that, you can ask yourself, can I do that with the ball? Now you'll see I've put the ball on the tee for beginners, for newcomers, even for some very seasoned players. I'll have the ball on a tee. I would very likely have you take a little practice swing there, just clipping the tee. And I'm going to make no allowance for that ball. I'm making a motion and the ball just gets in the way of that. 
Uh, I might have gone a little bit further back than I meant to there actually because I wasn't quite paying attention to the backswing. I will do this time. So it's one practice swing, one ball hit. It's about 7.30 to 4.30. I'm clipping the tee. I'm making a motion and the ball just happens to be in the way of the motion. I'm not hitting at the ball. I don't want you to hit at the ball. I want the motion to collect the ball. We start that with the small swings, we grow it to the full swings. Now, the last thing you need to know in this mini swing is, yes, we swing like a weight on a string. Yes, we brush the grass, but there's one other part to it. The swing has a direction. It can't be this way. It can't be that way. It won't work very well. What should we do? Enter the slot machine. Everybody could make one of these. It's just a couple of cardboard boxes. You could get it from a, a shipping store. Might get it from a hardware store, but I've got, these were actually golf clubs that were shipped to me. And I'm going to make a little, a slot, not that narrow, but you'll see from my camera down the line, I'm going to make a slot. I'm going to make a direction. I'm going to make a channel for that swing to, to move through. I don't want to be too tight, but now I've given some direction to the swing. So I am really off to a hot start here. If I've got a good grip, if I've got a good aim and stance and posture, if I'm swinging the weight on the string, if I'm brushing the grass as I do that to and fro, I'm 7.30 to 4.30. If I'm doing that and I'm swinging between those boxes, I have a high probability a very high probability that with the small swing, I'm going to knock that ball, chip that ball, more or less down that line we're looking at. And all golf swings have some element of that. And even when we get up to the driver and we're waving the club all the way around here and waving the club all the way through, at the bottom, at the bottom, it's still all about this. This is what gives the ball its marching orders. This is what sends the ball in the direction it goes in. So let me just recap there. Do you have to be at the golf course to do this? No, no, you could do this at home. You could just hit tees. So a weight on a string, brushing the grass, some sort of smoothness, tick, tuck, one, Two, the motion collects the ball and the motion has a direction and the direction has a relationship to that target line. A uh, lot of stuff going on here that you might not be aware of, but you can see it sends the ball pretty much down that line. That is the beginning of good golf.